One last video about the All Powers S200. I promise it will be the last one, or it might be. We'll have to see. So for those of you who haven't seen the previous videos about the uh, All Powers S200, uh, it's a power pack that I bought to try to take a bit of pressure off the 12 volt battery in Mega Bread Van. To some extent it sort of worked, but not as much as I wanted it to. Uh, we had a few problems, uh, small problems I suppose, but uh, even so, uh, annoying ones. For example, uh, there's been some leads that we just decided to either blow or stop working so that's that's been a slight problem so what i'm going to do in this video is to to go through the changes since the last video when i actually set everything up with all of the bits and pieces plugged into the power pack so going through uh things that are running off the power pack um just a slight small list and then uh, i'll go through the differences the first thing was the the dash cam uh which uh in fact, found it didn't run very well off the power pack, and so I had to run it off the uh, cigarette lighter socket. I think this is probably an issue due to the USB plugs on the power pack being uh, 5 volt, and didn't like that. And I found that both the, the dash cam and the CarPuri Android Auto thingy uh, screen didn't like the 5 volt setup. So uh, I managed to get sort of a Samsung AC, well, house plug type charger. And I've used that to plug into the power pack uh, because there's a household uh, plug on it, uh, which you can toggle on and off, uh, which is quite useful. Uh, on the power pack itself, uh, when you toggle on the household plug, there's a ventilator inside the, the box which uh, I'll get onto a bit later because that posed a problem. The, that, so the dash cam runs off that. Uh, the Carpuride um, had a plug that went from uh, USB to DC jack, sort of a, a jack plug. But on the USB end of the plug, there was a bigger, longer plug than usual. So I suspect it was a converter from 5 volt to 12 volt. Uh, but that blue, that stopped working. I have no idea why. Anyway, that, that posed a problem because then I couldn't use the carpuride and the only way I could plug it in would be through the cigarette lighter socket and of course there's only one cigarette lighter socket in this run which is a bit of a, an issue really. So I had no carpuride. What else is plugged in? Uh, we've got the light uh, and the speaker plugged directly into the power pack uh, I set up a sort of USB hub with some buttons. I think I'll switch things on and off. It would be quite useful in the end. Uh, useful even. But in the end, that sort of didn't really work very well. In fact, I thought I actually blew the hub um, because some of the buttons stopped working. But I think it was more the fact that the Carpuride USB plug, which is plugged into the hub, uh, we're getting there. I thought that was why the hub wasn't working, but it wasn't, it was the, the lead. Regarding the light and the speaker, the speaker's fine. Uh, the light, I've changed the lead because it was slightly too short, and uh, I think that the the wire inside was starting to break on the bit where it went into another hub, which is above the windscreen, and that is uh, there to um, basically have it talk and have the light and the speaker running off the same lead. So that's about it uh, regarding the setup, more or less. I suppose the only other thing I need to mention is the bracket for the carpuride kept falling off, mainly since the, the weather has turned hot. We had a spell, uh, I think it was last week, week before, where we hit 30 degrees. And up until then, ever since last November, we've had wet, uh, cold weather. Uh, even into the summer it was it was just not not really usual for for this part of the world and so we've had a lot of sun for a short relatively short time and this made the bracket fall off the the mounting now the carpuride bracket came with a suction cup uh type thing 
the sort of thing you put on your windscreen. Uh, but also, it stuck quite well to the plastic on the dashboard. It was a bit annoying when it just kept falling off uh, after staying there for a couple of months. In the end, I realised that with the carpuride, you got like a little disc that you could screw onto the dashboard and it had a sticky centre so that the, the suction cup f- actually fitted onto the the round thing you, the round sort of like disc thing, sticky disc that you screwed onto the dashboard. But that fell off as well, uh, so that didn't work at all. Uh, so in the end, I went a bit drastic and I put super glue on the sticky bit on the disc and then put the suction cup onto that with super glue on it hopefully that's going to hold with the the glue it makes it a bit more permanent because obviously i can't take the suction cup off uh, but i can unscrew it from the dashboard so uh, if i need to remove it for any reason i can but uh, hopefully that that will stay in place one last issue which was quite important actually was that i had the um things set in in fact if you go right back to some of the first videos about the all powers uh, s200 i was a bit baffled by trying to charge the power pack the all powers from the 12 volt battery in the van the idea being that well while i drive it sort of topped up the the power port power port power pack in fact i thought it was the opposite the power pack was charging the 12 volt battery but yeah, that was rather silly of my part because I, I don't understand these things. Basically, this is probably about the the third lead that I've had uh, to go between the power pack and the 12 volt battery. The first lead, which was um, cigarette lighter lead with the USB C plug on the other end, uh, just didn't work, um, and it wasn't actually going from the power pack to the 12 volt battery. So in the end, I got a USB um, hang on, USB plug, normal USB plug on one end, USB-C plug on the other, because the um, input to charge the, the power pack is USB-C. It's on the side of the, the box. And uh, this um, charged it up, but because it was just through a basic USB plug, on the cigarette lighter plug, um, because previously that was plugged into a multi cigarette lighter plug, which in the end was totally useless. It could only do two, about two or three watts of charge, which was not really very good. So in the end, I bought a new um, USB USB cigarette lighter plug charger. Uh, so that's a new thing I've done and so that's a USB-C uh, cable so it's USB-C to USB-C but plugged into the cigarette lighter charger which has a USB-C plug on it and a U- normal USB plug um, plugged into the side of the power pack USB-C uh, and that gives around 30-32 watts which is considerably better than it before so that's a one way sort of around it. Previously I had a lead uh, with a, a switch on it, which was USB to USB-C, um, which I bought from AliExpress. So I got my fingers burnt. It cost about two or three euros. And of course it didn't last very long. It just stopped working. So I had two leads that basically stopped working. Uh, that one, and also the the lead uh, for the carpuride, uh, which uh, you know blew as well. So basically, this time round, uh, I've bought uh, a couple of leads that are a bit better quality, and hopefully we won't have any problems. So we've got the dash cam plugged into the the power pack via the household plug and the Samsung charger plug. Previously, it was plugged into the uh, into the cigarette lighter socket, uh, and it seems to work fairly well on that. But the upshot is that I have to use the toggle switch on the side here. Um, if I can just move my camera a little bit so you can see it. So you hold hold on the other button there, the left hand button, and that toggles that. The upshot is that this has a ventilator 
I'll get my finger out of the way. This has a ventilator and uh, unfortunately the power pack itself was pushed into the holder a bit too much and of course no ventilation. So I've got to find a way of blocking this so it stays out of the holder. And the other problem is on the other side obviously you've got the two buttons to, to toggle uh, on the household plug. And when that's pushed in so far then it goes over the top of the buttons and that means that if that happens I'll pull that back out again if that happens then you can't switch the power pack off in fact another thing uh, causes that too which I'll talk about in a little while that's the dash cam we've got the light and the speaker which uh, go into that hub over there uh, previously the car pre I was plugged into hub 2 but uh, obviously that's uh, that's not working because there was a power lead problem so that goes into there and I've still got the buttons on there but that's useful because if I switch it on and off it means it's not charging the batteries in the in the speaker so the main change is to actually powering um, the car pre ride the um, cigarette lighter socket and uh, charging up the power pack via the cigarette lighter socket via a new charger uh, so i'll have to switch the engine on in a bit so you can see how much it charges but it means that i'm having to have two things i well at least one thing i didn't want being powered by the 12 volt battery uh, which is the, the car pre ride but um, i guess we just have to compromise so at the moment the um, the power pack, the All Powers power pack is powering the dash cam, the speaker and the light and also being charged up by the 12 volt battery through this lead here which comes from the charger there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the engine on and then you'll be able to see how much it charges so I've plugged this in it should start to charge We'll wait for a while for it to climb up. The car pre ride switched on, um, so that's fine. So we're up to 33 watts, uh, which is a lot more than the two or three watts we were getting previously, so up to 34 now. The car pre ride won't work, so I'm using the, the video camera on, well, I don't think it will work, on the phone. We'll give it a try. So mainly I'm listening to the radio on it, so I'll put the radio on. So that's working, we'll leave that just going for a couple of seconds, so I don't want to get a copyright claim. So that's working and I have to make sure that the, the speaker switched on too. So generally everything is working, um, the, the power pack is, is charging up, um, the car ride is powered now via a cigarette lighter socket. Uh, which I didn't really want. The dash comes working, the light's working, the speaker's working and we'll keep it to that for now I think. One other issue I was having was uh, when I tried to switch off the, um, the power pack it, it wouldn't switch off. But it's switching off now. And I found that um, it wasn't switching off because this was still plugged in. This um, USB-C lead which was charging up the power pack. In the main I'm going to have to have the um, cigarette lighter unplugged. So I've unplugged it but now the power pack switched itself back on again. Uh, so I'm going to try and switch it off again. And it's not switching off. So basically I found that I needed to unplug this to be able to switch off the, the power pack. Now if anyone knows why that is, let me know in the comments. So normally that should switch off. There we go, it's off. So if I plug this lead back in again, obviously it's switched off. It's not going to switch it, oh, it switched itself back on again. I'll switch it off again. I don't guess because the lead's plugged in it's gonna it's not gonna want to switch off so if I unplug the lead again 
and try it again. And of course I'll just push the power pack into the holder so that's not really going to help. So there it stays switched off. So that means that uh, I'm going to have to um, leave the lead into the power pack switched off, or unplugged rather, and the cigarette lighter unplugged. So it's a little bit annoying because it means I need to unplug the cigarette lighter, the lead on the side of that, then the leads in the carpuride. And I was hoping to get around that by using buttons just to switch everything off. But it's just not going to work. Um, the hub uh, it won't power the things I want to power because it's not putting out a lot, enough juice from the power pack with it being USB. And to do that, I'm going to need 5 volt to 12 volt converters on some of the leads. And I don't want to do that. Um, the lead that uh, was powering the carpuride had one of those. And it seems that it died. It just didn't like it. So I think I'm going to stick with this now and just have to put it with unplugging leads and and plugging leads in. Um, you know, that's the way it is. It's it's just how the van is. Um, but in the main, uh, the most important thing was to not have it so the 12 volt battery is powering everything. Um, because I know that in this van, especially in cold weather, it's going to struggle. And... Uh, I suppose I've achieved achieved the objective, but not the way I wanted. Um, I'd be interested in your thoughts about this, because it just seems like it's it's gone on a bit too long. And that's why I'm just keen to stop talking about it in another video. And I'll leave it as it is, and if there's any other more important developments, hopefully not the van catching fire, uh, then I will bring out another video. So I think I'll bring things to an end here because it's been quite a long-winded talk about all of this. Uh, hopefully forthcoming videos will cover the uh, control technique and MOT that's been brought in for some Permi vehicles in France. That's been since April and I still haven't done anything about it. Uh, and it's something I need to really, really consider now. Uh, it's a bit scary actually because I'm worried about having to to spend a lot of money on the van um, because I know that uh, they're going to insist on uh, probably updating the brakes and suspension as a main. Another YouTuber, um, Rick over in uh, Brittany, who has a Sonpermi car, uh, told me that uh, I need to make sure there's nothing leaking on the van. And as far as I know, there isn't anything uh, dripping anywhere, uh, but that's an automatic fail. So... There's lots and lots of things to consider in forthcoming videos. So the most important thing is the control technique. And then I need to get on to things like um, the cosmetic things on the interior, making it a bit more comfortable and so on. But they're just not a priority at the moment. The priority is getting it through uh, the CT and seeing if it's not going to cost too much money, really. So with that, I'll leave you. Take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you in another video. Bye.